theatrical. I'm glad I didn't accidentally react to that because that would have taken me a little bit by surprise. So today we are going to be checking out a musical act called Jethro Tull. I don't know if this is a person or a band. I feel like I've heard the name Jethro Tull before, but I absolutely have no idea what kind of genre of music it is. I don't even know when they were a thing. I'm gonna guess like maybe the 90s. If you don't know why I'm on a musical journey, it's because I just skipped that whole phase of my life. Here's a couple of reasons why that happened. I'm learning and growing as a person now and checking out these bands and artists that I missed out on. Some of them I like, some of them I don't. But the only way we're gonna figure out what I like is by looking at stuff. So I'm actually gonna go into this totally blind. And then we're gonna check out afterwards. We're gonna do some Google searching about Jethro Tull. Jethro Tull. I don't even know what that means. I think it's two words, Jethro Tull, because I've already looked up the song, but I don't know what it means. So the song we're looking at today is called Locomotive Breath. And I was told to watch their concert version of this song. So let's take that. Jethro Tull. Rock. Pop in concert, 1982, 80s, okay. Her face is really shiny today. I imagine she skipped the loose powder in an attempt to get that glowy look, but girl, you just look greasy. Oh, 
very Jesus Christ superstar. a lot going on there yes i loved his outfit it was so shakespearean like the whole thing was very jesus christ superstar as i said like there was a lot going on there was a freaking flute i thought lizzo was an original with that but apparently not i need to know more about jethro tull the lyrics were like <gasps> How did Jethro Tull get their name? Band names were often supplied by booking agent staff, one of whom, a history enthusiast, eventually christened them Jethro Tull after 18th century agriculturalist. The name stuck because they happened to be using it the first time a club manager liked the show enough to invite them to return. How random. Oh, okay, they're British. British progressive rock band formed in Luton. I've been to Luton. Oh, okay. Original Tull drummer Clive Bunker notes, we never took the drugs people thought we did. Plenty of beer on stage. But Ian Anderson was very much against that level of partying. Though perhaps not as staunchly as Ed Z was. Oh, okay. Apparently Jethro Tull supported Led Zeppelin and Zeppelin made their support act feel unwelcome. Why? Drummer John Bonham of Led Zeppelin called them Jethro Dull backstage and labeled their show Borum at the Forum. Oh my God. Okay, Zeppelin felt a rock band should be able to improvise and feed off a crowd's energy, whereas Jethro Tull planned everything in their set down to the nanosecond. In Zeppelin's eyes, this was the antithesis of rock and roll and they let their feelings be known. Well, I mean, they're just two different styles, really. Oh my God, apparently they have a 44 minute long song. I'm glad I didn't accidentally react to that because that would have taken me a little bit by surprise. I wonder at what point I would have been like, this is very long. Probably if we got past the 15 minute mark, I would have been like, mm, what's going on here? They were known for incorporating elements of classical music into their song, infusing their intricate flute solos and symphonic arrangements inspired by classical masters. Oh, apparently they often tackled important societal issues, making their music not only enjoyable, but also intellectually stimulating. Let's look up the meaning of that song. It was about the runaway train of population growth and capitalism. It was based on sort of unstoppable ideas. We're on this crazy train and we can't get off of it. Written by frontman Ian Sanderson. Anderson, Ian Anderson. It was about what we might call globalization, he said. Oh, okay, when was this interview? 2021. He says everything from the pandemic crisis we're in, you can trace back to the effect of a huge population that traveled, the spread of disease, everything down to climate change. You can see how that is vastly exacerbated by population size. So pretty much everything that we fear and be concerned with in terms of its effect on our great grandchildren. That's deep, man. That's deep. Okay. Progressive rock, apparently. Very interesting. Very unlike anything we've touched upon on the channel thus far. Interesting, interesting. Feel free to suggest songs in the comments below or artists or fans or anything. That's it for today. Thank you so much, guys. See you on the other side. Bye.